more than 800 mayors nationwide take the time to recognize the impact and work of the AmeriCorps members. Last year, more than 4,520 officials who represent 194 million Americans displayed their support and participated in the fourth annual National Service Recognition Day. This is our second year participating in honoring the work of our volunteers. They have participated in planning and facilitating many citywide events and programs, including the Great Jersey City Cleanup and JC Shovels. I've worked alongside AmeriCorps Vistas over the year in volunteer capacity with community events, as well as in my work life um, when I was working at Rising Tide Capital. And in fact, two of the women that I worked with previously are both AmeriCorps Vista alums. So we really do recognize the um, importance that your knowledge and your work ethic really play a part in moving projects forward. So proclamation from the Office of the Mayor of the City of Jersey City on National Service Recognition Day. Whereas the service to others is a hallmark of the American character and central to how we meet our challenges. And whereas AmeriCorps and Senior Corps participants address the most pressing challenges facing our communities, from educating students for jobs in the 21st century, to fighting the opioid epidemic, to responding to natural disasters, to supporting veterans and military families, and whereas national service expands economic opportunity by creating more su substantial, resilient communities and providing education, career skills, and leadership abilities to those who serve. And whereas AmeriCorps and Senior Corps participants serve in more than 50,000 locations across the country, bolstering the civic, neighborhood, and faith-based organizations that are so vital to our economic and social well-being social well-being, and whereas national service participants increase the impact of the organizations they serve, both through their direct service and by managing millions of additional volunteers, and whereas national service represents a unique public-private partnership that invests in community solutions and leverages non-federal resources to strengthen community impact and increase the return on taxpayer dollars, and whereas national service participants demonstrate commitment, dedication, and patriotism by making an intensive commitment to service, a commitment that remains with them in their future endeavors. And whereas the Corporation for National and Community Service shares a priority with local leaders nationwide to engage citizens, improve lives, and strengthen communities, and is joining with the National League of Cities, the National Association of Counties, Cities of Service, and local leaders across the county, country for the National Service Recognition Day on April 3rd, 2018. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Stephen Fulop, Mayor of the City of Jersey City, do hereby proclaim April 3rd, 2018 as National Service Recognition Day and encourage residents to recognize the positive impact of national service in our community, to thank those who serve, and to find ways to give back in their communities. So now uh, we are going to go jump right into the uh, recognition ceremony and we'll be calling Vistas up individually. So, we're gonna start off with uh, Zohar Hassan, please come up. Next, we have Charlene Burgess. Next up, we have Michael Hassan. All right, there you go, Michael, thank you. We have Kwame Gilbert. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Troy Mack. <laughs> Next up, we have Amira Rochelle. Did I say that one? I did. Okay. All right, now we have uh, Alma Hidalgo. Mm -hmm. 
All right, next we have uh, Janet Brago. All right, following up, we have Jillian Bauman. Okay, and then uh, we have Admir Malik. And lastly, he can't give it to himself, so I'll announce it, um, <laughs> is Esteban Rodriguez, our VISTA leader. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. I served as VISTA between the August of 2016 and 2017. Uh, now I work for the city, in fact, for the Division of Community Development down at 30 Montgomery. Uh, so I just see Charlene every day, actually. So I'm not actually a Jersey City native. I grew up in Michigan. Um, before I became a VISTA, I had only been to Jersey City once. But uh, once I was here, it, it didn't take me long to fall in love with the city. VISTA has been fighting poverty for over 50 years. It's contributed to you know, millions of people escaping um, hardship. Over 75,000 people are serving in AmeriCorps as of now, I believe. And uh, well, the program's under threat. Uh, the Trump administration's latest budget proposed eliminating the program entirely, inflicting you know, needless hardship on the most vulnerable people at a time when you know, life is hard enough as it is. So one thing that I hope we all do is you know, fight for the VISTA program, fight for AmeriCorps, and uh, keep doing what we do because it's great. In seven years ago, I was sitting in your seats um, in Buffalo, New York, uh, and look where you could be in seven years. You could be working in Trenton, New Jersey. So that's a really exciting thought, right? Um, but I love what I do, and people ask me about you know, how my service impacted my life. And I'm standing here because I did two years of service. Um, and I don't really know what life after AmeriCorps looks like. So I, I can say very strongly that it has given me a lot more than I've probably given to the community at this point. Um, and you know, you know, you know that feeling as well. I'm sure that your service really does give back to yourself as well as giving to the community.